Hey campers, George here, back in the man cave. Yeah, trying to catch up on all my videos. I'm so far behind, it's embarrassing. But hey, guess what arrived today? This guy from Next Tools. What do they call it? The Next Tool Mini Sailor Multifunctional Pliers. Basically, it's a multi tool for your keychain. Let's check it out. So like I said, I'm a wee diddly behind on the videos. <laughs> Just so much going on lately, I don't know what's going on. This came in and I'll be waiting for it. Now, uh, a subscriber, and forgive me, I can't remember who it was, and I tried to find the, the comment, but I couldn't find it. And he said, George, you got to check out these guys. Next tool, they're a multi-tool company. So I thought, huh, I went and got it. And of, and of course, I can't even give the credit. Anyway, hopefully you'll see this and put it in the comments that it was due. So what I'm talking about, Joe, is I, I went to their website and it's these guys here. And it's uh, Next Tool, an interesting website. Basically, they make multi-tools and they got a bunch, all different ones. This one that I bought, actually, what I received and what I thought I bought, a little different. I bought this guy because... It was in within my budget. You know me. I thought, you know, that looks pretty cool. And they do say that it is a keychain multi-tool. Now, I've got to tell you, I have it in my hand right here. It's nice and small and it's compact. We diddly heavy for my, for my pocket and keys. Wait. Let's check it out. Like I said, they say, interestingly enough, that it is an 11-in-1 multi-tool keychain. And it's the mini sailor is what it is. Now, I think they have two series of multi-tools. One is the Sailor series, and the other one is, I'm not quite sure, but it's bigger tools with a little bit of variety in them. Kind of different. Uh, if I remember, they'll have the one with the wrench, which is a multi-tool, and they have a big multi-tool, and they, they have uh, one that's a very small, basic multi-tool with like two or three tools on it. Interesting, what I'll do is I'll put a link below, Got it on Amazon, so I'll give you the link to their, their store on Amazon, and you can check it out. They have a bunch. You can see here, they've got all sorts. So we'll see how this goes. Maybe we'll get to see some more. <laughs> hey, so here it is here, and you can see it there, and it is the uh, next tool. This is the Mini Sailor, and I, I just got this color. I'm not sure if it comes in different colors, to be honest. I think this is just the color this particular one comes in. And you can see in my hand here, about as long as my finger. It looks and feels solid. It looks really well made. If you look in there and you have a look, see at that stuff, it's, uh, it's well made. There's no gaps. It looks well put together. Uh, let's open it up and see how that works. Oh, that opened up. Oh, it's nice and springy see that and you can see it's got uh, long nose pliers on it so we know it has that and i kind of like the spring spring on this this is not a big multi-tool this is something you'd use for probably smaller tasks and i personally i'm thinking kind of like a fishing thing or something you'd throw in your camping stuff just as an in-case multi-tool or an edc that if you don't mind a little bit of weight in your pocket this would work as well. It seems small enough. And you can see it's very clean, very clean, well made. Uh, all they have on, on the, uh, the actual handle, they just say next tool. They don't say anything else. I don't see anything else there. Let's see what else is in. They, they said 11, right? Let's have a look at those long nose again and see if it's just the long. I would have, if you look down at the bottom, right there, you have cutters. So it's, uh, you know, long nose pliers with cutters. So that's two right there. What else do they have in here? This is very small. Oh, that's interesting. They got a can opener and a bottle opener on one leg here. Uh, hold on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, I, I got a picture here. You can see it here. Now look at this bottle opener and can opener on one. 
in the picture of the one that I bought, it doesn't show both. I think it, I'm not sure what it shows you, but it just shows one. Interesting. That's why I was thinking that maybe this is not the one that I ordered that they sent me. Or it's an updated version. I did have a quick look through the website a while I was there to see if I could see a picture of one like this. None. So this is probably new, uh, which is cool. So that's, you've got two, you've got the long nose and the cutters. Three, four, right there. And uh, what else do they have in here? Mm, wow, they got, this is really small. <laughs> got a blade, check it out. Look at that. Yeah, it's not really sharp. Um, uh, it cuts, but you can see it's, it's a scratchy cut. Probably needs to be stropped a little bit. Sure, that'll take care of it. And if you're wanting to know what steel they used, say hello to Mary. Uh, she's been a little uh, brat lately. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, the steel on this, they say the whole tool, 30 CR13, and they say it, it has been hardened even more. So uh, obviously they know what they're doing. They, so that's the blade. And then they've got a bunch of little ones here. Now, not many... You can see there's your Phillips head. I've found these to be a little bit thin on just about every multi-tool. Uh, they're really not designed for heavy work. They're not designed that way. If it was a little bit thicker and you had a bit of a, a more square Phillips head on it, they would be a lot better, but really there's no way to do that. I bet you this is a flat screwdriver here. Yeah? You can see it right there. Nice flat head, nice and clean. Comes to a little, you know, not too thin so that could do some heavy work now none of these have locked right. oh ha scissors uh let me show you when you pull it out it pops out like that and if you flick this around wow wow you see that watch this that spring on the scissors is really strong and springy wow so there you can see the scissors there. And will it cut? Um, oh yeah, it cuts clean. And you can see it there, nice clean cuts. Um, wow, not bad at all. Yeah. Oh, hold on a minute. Don't you be going in there now. I've got to watch Mary because I, uh, if you have a look, I have the forge that I got the other day and I've put the concrete on to the insulation. It needs to dry for 12 hours. Mary can't stay away from any tunnel or box. I'm going to be careful she doesn't get in there. So that's something else I'm working on. Finally going to get to that once this dries. We ought to fire it up. Back to the multi-tool. I've got to tell you, these scissors look pretty good. And they cut that paper pretty well. So to close it up, you have to close it again and just... Uh, push down on here, pull it in, and it pops right in. It, it, the tools are very thin, very thin. And, you know, I'm thinking, they said 11 in one, right? So you had the long nose, the cutters, uh, the can opener, the bottle opener. Um, what else did we have? We had the, the Phillips and the flathead. We had the scissors. That's eight. So we're missing three here. I don't know. Am I missing something on the inside? That's interesting. There's something hidden here. Wow. Nope, that's the scissors. Oh, wait a minute. If you open these, wow, that's small. They got this. Check this out. Oh, it's a pin. What are they? I wonder what they're talking about there. You see that? Look at that. It's a pin. You use it to push things in or whatever. Get in there. That's that's pretty small. <laughs> kind of delicate. Well, not really delicate. Oh, it's pretty solid. There's something on the other side here I can see. They're not easy to get to. Um, you have to get your, your, your nail in there to get them out. What is... Huh. What is that? Let me get this out of the way. Look at that. You know what that is, right? 
that's got to be for your keychain. That's where you would hang it because I see nowhere else. So there, you know, you can see, I'm, I'm not sure what they call them. I wonder if they, oh, they do. My bad. Piece of paper came with it. If in doubt, read the paper. So they're saying needle nose pliers, uh, regular pliers. That's where they're getting the other tool from. So what they're talking about here is your needle nose. And they do have, if you look on there, it is serrated or whatever you want to call it. So they're saying needle nose at the top, regular pliers down here and cut it. So they're saying that's three tools. And then the knife, we saw that. Uh, let me see if I can get all the... Uh, it's hard to get all the tools out. You have to close... Or oh, maybe we can do... There's the knife, they say. Then they say can opener and bottle opener. So they do have it on the on the instructions. I just couldn't find it on the uh, the tool, on, on any pictures. And there you have it there. So you have that. And then they say the Phillips head screwdriver... Uh, just so, like I said, nothing is locking. None of this locks. And that's, they, they're pretty stiff in there. They're not going to go anywhere in a hurry. And then you've got your little pinny here. What do they call that then? They call this, they call the hanging holder. So that's where you, would, I was right, you put your keys on there. This they call slim card needle. Whatever that is, I'm not sure. Maybe you know. And then, of course, you have your scissors right here. Um, and what else do we have? That's it. So let's have a look. See, what did it say? 11, right? Now, they said on the pliers, obviously, uh, the main blame is hold it up here for you so you can see that. Kind of busy, isn't it? <laughs> so you got your scissors. you got your hanging tool. you got your uh, Phillips head, flat head card pin, your three pliers, your cutters, your regular and, and long nose, bottle opener, bottle opener, can opener, scissors. Uh, so how many is that? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, they're right. You have eleven. Wow. Look at that guy. <laughs> Busy little bee in it. Very nice. I like that. And they said the whole tool is that. Uh, um, let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna close it all up before I cut or break something. On me, not the knife. <laughs> Closes up small. Uh, you know the whole tool is thirty. Uh, what did they say? Thirty CR thirteen. So everything on that is 30 CR 13, which is nice. I, I like that idea. You know, normally just the knife or things like that. But the whole tool is the same steel. You can see it there. How big is it? Let's check it out. Uh, I get it in closed up like this. Two and a half inches. Uh, the, the, the depth of the tool, seven eighths. Uh, that width there. How thick it is. Uh, one, two, three eighths, just over. So not bad. Two and a half, seven eighths, three eighths. Uh, probably pretty standard sizing there. Not bad. Let's see what the pliers are. Would be the, the longest it is. Have it closed up here. I'm just going to pull them together and measure. And you're looking at four and an eighth, plus or minus. So not bad. Um, don't know how much it weighs. They don't really say anything there, but uh, they do give instructions here on how to use the stuff. And then your whole list here with more instructions on. So they give you everything you need. Here they say uh, dimensions. Uh, they give it in millimeters, so that's not going to help you. Material. Uh, they call it something else. That's interesting. 420J2 or 420J1. And the weight, 84 grams, plus or minus 2 grams. Not too bad. A little heavy for my uh, my pocket, but certainly going to go into my fishing tackle box. I think I would make a, a good little multi-tool for that. Or like I said, camping. And, yep, made in China. 
and you know next tools out of China. So the uh, do I have a problem with that? You know I'm, I'm speaking. <laughs> Speaking of China, uh, they, you know, this is well made. I like this. It's pretty solid. Um, so, uh, uh-oh, my kiddos are calling. It's video time. Uh, they want a, a video chat tonight, so we're going to do that. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Kiddos call. They like to call and uh, video chat for a while. A while for them is an hour. <laughs> <laughs> love talking to my kids seeing them keeps me sane anyway back to this guy and as I was saying we were talking China a uh, funny thing came up was uh, I was just flipping through YouTube came across a channel called the knife doctor this guy yeah he's a subscriber and he has his own channel and I thought this was pretty interesting because he's a big USA only knife guy. He saw my my Wordic uh, review from Swiss Tech, uh, my top video. It's got a lot of views. It's been really popular. And he saw it and he gave me a bump. He said uh, that he'd seen the review and I'd convinced him to have a look at a Chinese knife. Uh, might want to check his channel out, by the way. He does some great stuff. He goes to uh, stores and buys used tools, fixes them up, and he does stuff like that. He does knife re reviews. He does all sorts of things. And he said he's going to use this one for a month, and he said, January the 1st, I'll give you my views on it. So look out for that. Check out his channel, The Knife Doctor. Great channel. Got a lot of good stuff on there. All sorts of things to do with knives. So there you go. Um, which brings me to something else. You know, I, a lot of you guys, uh, I've asked for ideas like this. This was an idea from, and unfortunately I can't remember who it was and I couldn't find the comment. And I, I really appreciate that because it gives me some ideas. Now, I know a lot of you guys enjoy the same kind of sharp and shiny as I do. Uh, you know, and other stuff I do. So if you have any ideas for me, feel free to send me a comment, put it in the in the comments, or uh, you can go to my webpage and go to the, there's a, a business email button there. You can click on that and send me an email with some of your ideas. I'm always looking for new stuff. And if there's something you'd like to see, remember I'm on a budget. <laughs> so uh, let me know and I'll see how I can come up with it. And another thing is, is that I, I was rec another product was recommended to me, and I thought, oh, I'll have a look at that. And I just went online and surfed around, and lo and behold, I found them, had a look at them. I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. Two days later, I got an email from them, random email from the same people saying, want to have a look at some of our stuff, we'll send you something. And they did. And it arrived today, so something new to have a look at. It's also a multi-tool, uh, interesting. <laughs> One I've never looked at before, never really thought about it, but I thought this was pretty interesting. I think for a, a car EDC or your truck or whatever, carrying it for emergencies would be a great EDC. Anyway, back to these guys. And i got to tell you, I'm pretty impressed with this. This has some interesting ideas. It's a small multi-tool. So some of the tools are not really designed for heavy work. This is something for light duty. And that's why I would recommend it for maybe as a fishing multi-tool. It'll fix anything you need on your reels or anything like that that breaks while you're out there fishing. It'll cut line with the scissors and things like that. It has all you need on it. The other thing is, is that... Uh, you know, just something to have in your pocket um, for light duty stuff. Anything else, you know, you know, if you work in an office or something like that and you uh, every now and again need to fix something around the office or something like that, this would be a great little tool. And I've got to tell you, it's well made. You know, as small as it is, it's really well thought out. 
um, it, you know, it's it's just overall very well made. And I, I have got to tell you, I'm impressed. So there you go. How much did I pay for it? Well, that much. And which is right there in my budget. It's good for me. And for that price, I think it's worth it. Uh, it would be nice if it came with a little pouch, maybe, but it's not designed for that. They say it's for a keychain. For me, a little bit heavy for a keychain. But certainly, like I said, this is going in my uh, ice fishing tackle box, for sure. Uh, it'll fit in there nicely. It's nice and small. And I'm pretty sure it'll come in handy, because I know this would fix anything on my reels or stuff like that. So, Or something goes wrong, whatever. Don't forget. Like, share, subscribe. You know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back. Got stuff coming in. Like I said, I'm sorry. I'm behind on my videos. Uh, things are slowing down, getting a little calmer right now. I'll be able to catch up. I like to be about a week ahead, and I'm nowhere near that. <laughs> Organized. I've got the furnace. That. Now I'm looking forward to firing that thing up just because I can. Uh, I need tools for it. That's going to be... Yeah, a little expensive, but like I said, I'm going to do some shopping around, see if I can come up with some some options instead of getting the real tools until I get going and I'm comfortable and then start looking at uh, more tools. I've been watching videos and stuff like that, and I'll have all that info for you. You be safe out there, even with these little guys. They shop in Chinese, and this one, very nice. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.